everybody calls me a stick bug. Deleted my Facebook and YouTube. Deleted everything. I'm going to use technology to bring people back to nature. Everybody loves climbing trees. You are what you eat. It's never been more true. They're like, wop wop. They're chicken. They're a little bit fishy. They're like, <laughs> they're like fat. <laughs> Steak, beef. Like Ugh. using an animal as a middleman to get protein. Would you rather be a sad animal? Or a happy plant. He's nuts. Yeah. Stood around yeah. drinking coconuts. <laughs> Fruitarian, like what? You could just eat fruit super high from orange peel. It's delicious. A lot of the biggest animals on earth eat is just green foods. He's walking around the world <laughs> and I'm like, oh! <laughs> so you climbed up a tree and just got this? No, I didn't get oh. these. I have a family that gets them and sells them at the... Uh, Flea market. Do they say that or if they're still on the branch or something? Or that's just... just um, easier to carry? Yeah. Yeah, it's easier to carry. And then you can tell they're fresh because when they're getting kind of old, they'll fall off. But yeah, they're solid. I love these. Someone was telling me you can chop up a palm tree and get a cabbage out the middle. What? You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Do you know about that? Cabbage? Yeah, they call it cabbage. It's like the center of a palm tree. Do you call this jellies? Yeah, that's what they call it in the islands. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Indian Rocks. Oh, okay. Wow. One for you. Yeah, go Holly. Do you drink it? Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> Why do they call them jellies? Because the, when it's young, the meat's like jelly. Scoop it out with a spoon and make yogurt and cheese and all sorts of things. <laughs> out of coconut? Yeah. Oh, you know what I just had was chocolate pudding made out of Florida avocados. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was really good. I always do uh, avocado plus bananas plus chocolate powder and mix it up. It's like a thick mousse. Wow. <laughs> He's met the big buddies. Ah. Yeah. I want to say hi to your pups too. <laughs> wow, you can just tell that's like super hydrated. Best water there is, man. I saw some trees right by the house we were at, by Jack's house, loaded with some coconuts. I want to go knock on their door. Right. See if I can snag some local ones. Mm. <laughs> Do you want some coconut? No, it's only uh, it's avocado that's bad. Can I say hi to your pup? Yeah. How's your day, Ben? I love how friendly this guy is. Can I say hi to your pup? How's your day? I'm bad at asking questions. Thank I know. Hope you got them all riled up. How's your day? How are you doing? Hey, buddies. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs> They're just smiling like, hey. <laughs> I feel like a real Florida jungle person now. We're all yeah. stood around yes. drinking coconuts <laughs> like it's nothing. Just like, yeah. So good. Just had a coconut for breakfast. Not making any trash, just eating from the earth, pure yeah. water. Oh, yeah. I'm in my compost bin when we're done. Yeah, and I can crack it in half for you too, and you can spin yeah. it out. I was going to say that. Yeah, Scoop that it. Part. It's cool though. You just carry a machete and you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I definitely asked some officers uh, what the deal was. I was like, so. Uh, I definitely can't get coconuts open any other way, so mm. what are the laws with yeah. me riding around with a machete? How's that work? And he's like, as long as it's not concealed or hidden, yeah. it's all right. And yeah. you've got the coconut shell <laughs> peelings in the back. Right. Look, this is what I'm using for, guys. Yeah. <laughs> when I thought I was going to run around the world the other way, I was going to go over to France, and I was fully packed where I had like an uh, axe. Yeah. And I said to them, can I take an axe on the boat? Because it's kind of like being on the plane. Yeah. And they were just like, no. Dang, <laughs> but you right. can if you like check it in or if you put it in a car. Oh, yeah. But just strapped on a belt. <laughs> they were like, no. In right. the end, I decided not a good idea to run around with an axe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I dropped it in my leg. Oh, I was my like, gosh. That, I was going to think you're going to fall on it. That yeah. there, like, shunk. And it probably opened up, like, whoosh, nice. blood went everywhere. Oh, and I got down on the floor and was like, <gasps> I duct taped it up. Dang. And then there was no one home, so I couldn't go... Like, I couldn't get anyone to give me a ride to the hospital. Yeah. I'm not going to walk over, it's like five miles. And, yeah. Right. So I just left it duct taped. Nice. That's all I did, yeah. Duct tape works, man. <laughs> That's some good stuff. Or super glue. Hey, I want some coconut. <laughs> yeah. Yummy. Oh, yeah. Raise off. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you want? Do you want the 
What's your name, by the way, besides Hammock Guy? Mike. <laughs> Everybody calls me Stickbug. The guy I only know is Stickbug. <laughs> and I even Googled Stickbug in order to see if there was more social media, and all I found was, like, sticking six. <laughs> <laughs> Canopy Club is your uh, Instagram, right? Yeah, and that's going to be the YouTube name when I get a little drone. Because I can't really get good angles with a selfie stick up in the tree. I kind of mm. want to get the whole tree and me in a hammock at the top. Yeah. And, yeah. and just fly in and make it look awesome. So that's the goal. I'm going to use technology to bring people back to nature. Nice. Yeah. It's yeah, a great yeah. plan. There was an awesome tree that was bent over a lake and all these little kids were on there. And I went and climbed with them. And my mom couldn't make it up the overpass. <laughs> because uh, she's new at riding a bike, so I just put my hand on her back and pedaled and pushed oh her on that too. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, my legs were definitely sore <laughs> the next day. I've done that running with someone before. Oh yeah? Like I'm running with the belt and pushing someone on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> Especially on the uphill. Yeah. And then running, you have to make sure you don't go too fast. Yeah, I, that's to me that's a thrill. Like That was my favorite thing. To, it, I started to make the the mission to go to the top and then run back down nice. and like find different ways down or different routes but the, I never counted any miles or times it was just get to the top and get back down don't get machete mother <laughs> 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 I like you too much okay there you go thank you you're welcome <laughs> in England all we have are these like rock hard ones that no, there's no water left in there. Oh, They're just yeah. empty, just sort of like. Ugh. Those are good to like, like years ago. Good to put in a cheesecloth when they're ground up and make nut milk. Because mm. they're not that fun to eat when they're rock hard. No. You should crack your own. Yeah, so, no. I was gonna say yeah, I'll try. <laughs> uh, maybe not. You have to say yes to everything. So. Oh yeah, say yes to everything. Don't eat his coconut. <laughs> Come on. I've been dipping apple slices in almond butter oh, lately. Yum. You know what I was doing with uh, sweet potatoes? What? Just make sweet potato toast. Put it in the toaster and uh, make you know thin slices, and then put almond butter on it or nice. jam, like jelly, like whatever Sounds you would awesome. do with toast. It's just a gluten-free version of toast. Right. I got some pretty awesome gluten-free coconut Good crackers. Toast. Hard enough. To be able to eat it like that? You have to toast it like two or three times. Okay. I just made some awesome wraps with collard green leaves. Mm. And I put, at the store I go to, they make this cashew cheese, which kind of tastes like nacho cheese. Yeah. So I put that on it with avocado, sprouts, and tomato. Mm. And it was just amazing. They also make these really cool coconut turmeric wraps at that store. So you can make some burritos and it's superb, man. I've been doing lettuce banana wraps real simple just you just wrap a banana in lettuce but it's just a way of getting a lettuce down you like i can get through a whole lettuce right by just mixing it with a banana nice oh cabbage is quite good you know those purple cabbage mm -hmm. put stuff in there put like peanuts and raisins and yeah nice. yeah we're all scooping stuff <laughs> before i was started like filming myself every day yeah i took a break for about a year had no phone Deleted my Facebook and YouTube, deleted everything. Came back to the conclusion like you have, like, maybe I could share the message through sure. instead of just going off in the woods on my own. And actually, I now realize that I've got better memories because I film it. It's not the other way around. Definitely. It's, it's not like getting in the way or. Sure. That's what's so cool about hanging out with the guys on the beach because they've filmed so many of our adventures, hmm. going to different countries and cliff jumping. And oh, yeah. Just. They, they do one. get the memories without having to do I know, right? <laughs> yeah, way better if someone else edits it. <laughs> For sure. Over here. <laughs> I'll trick ya. Mosey. Yeah, there's some fun guys. I was just watching a video from a long time ago. Me and Jack's little brother, Turner, got on the roof in a giant box full of 10,000 ping pong balls and jumped off. And Turner landed first and pushed the trampoline all the way to the ground. So I basically went from the roof to the floor oh. and landed on my head and I was like ah oh. and then you just see my body go limp and I was really? out for like 45 seconds really? so I got the wind knocked out of me while I was knocked out so my body was just on autopilot trying to recover Whoa. and 
Yeah, that's an epic video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, there was like a quote where Edwin was saying, all these stunts we do, we don't really test it. We just kind of set it up and go for it. <laughs> right. And then Jack's like, well, how are you going to test it, Edwin? And they're like, you go first. <laughs> 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 all right, guys. So there's pretty much only two rules in Mexico. Don't go off alone. And if you get drunk and have to pee, piss yourself. Because the police will try and make money off you if they see you peeing in a bush. <laughs> so... I went off by myself. Those two rules are going to be really difficult for me when I go through Mexico. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And it was mainly a tourist town because there's a lot right. of security and they want to make so yeah. much money. So I went off alone. I was out of pesos. I got caught by security peeing in a bush. I thought I was doing. <laughs> I thought I was sneaking, but he found me and I ended up running from him <laughs> up into a tree. And I just didn't even move and watched all these policia trucks drive by. We were leaving at 7 a.m. the next morning. And I would have been so screwed. That was terrifying. So you just stayed up there while they were looking for you. Like where is yeah. he? Where is he? Where it was a just... nice, fully grown tree. Like all the new, new growth was coming out. It was uh, all green. Uh, yeah. So that's your trill, you know, trill. Can't speak. Tree climbing skill. That was all right. combined, coming in handy. Like, to get away from the cops in the country. Yeah, you know the parkour free running guys. They must be great at getting away from police. Right. Uh -huh. but, yeah. I have a cool raccoon family at my house because I dump all my compost from the juice bar I work at. They just had two little cubs about his size. Yeah, I saw a photo with a raccoon with you up the tree. Yeah, it's, it's so funny. Just like... He's just staring down, Aww. laying like Mowgli with all his oh, up. Yeah. Raccoons are so cute. <laughs> they are. How was the jelly man? <laughs> jelly was good, huh? <laughs> you couldn't do it without me. No oh, way you can get into that. Side. <laughs> you want another piece? Moti! It's funny when you point, dogs don't understand that, they just look at your finger. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you try and point at something. I feel like just, eventually they get it. They think they're showing like Maya, you. Like Maya can be like, go to bed, and he like goes, you know? Yeah. I think it's just like I practice. think it's the whole arm. Like, yeah. if you just point, they think. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have? Like, they look show me your finger. What's on your finger? Did you eat it already? <laughs> wow, you're fat. Uh, Stick it up. After many years, I felt like change, and then I just decorated the inside. I didn't even look up. Uh, <laughs> no one looks up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of my friends had, you know those lights that you can push, like, boom, boom. oh, exactly like that. <laughs> you push it, and it lights up. Yeah. He super glued, like, hundreds of them to his whole ceiling. Nice. So, like, you could push them into say funny things, or, <laughs> you know, you could push a line of them, or push... All different ways. That's awesome. I would like to get mood lights in here. Museum of Fine Arts. That's where we're headed. This is way cool. We're gonna go on a tour of all the best trees stick bugs found. Your canopy club is gonna be your YouTube though. Yeah, I'm stoked. It's an awesome idea and I love climbing trees and it'll be so fun to just climb trees with a bunch of kids and do you know what you're gonna film on? Like how because I've gone for years with all these different cameras and laptop editing and by far the best way of doing it now I've realized is the phone. So film I with the phone, edit on the phone. I didn't have a cell phone for seven years and I just <laughs> recently got one I think it was about a year and a half ago because I wanted to start getting into this Instagram and showing what I love to do to everyone else. Yeah. Because everybody loves climbing trees. Right. I mean it's a beautiful natural playground. Got threatened to be trespassed for two years. Because I was hammocking so high, like 60 feet up in it, and these people called the police. And they got super upset for some reason. I'm just like, dude, I'm just up in a tree, man. Yeah. It's not a big deal. But... They seem... The, the whole trespassing concept seems very popular here. Even to the point where I've started to make, like, a compilation of... Trespassing signs. Trespassing, trespassing. Right. Dancing in front of them. Like, making fun of, like, the whole concept <laughs> of, like... Right. We own this land. I always yeah. thought this like the illusion of ownership. Right. Because the true owner of something is the one who's there the most. Yeah. Like, if I have a swimming pool or something, but I never jump in it. Right. But the next door neighbor jumps in my yard and goes in the pool like every day. Really, it's their pool. I just feel like we inherit the earth too. Yeah. Like, this is all ours. It, I don't even really like fences, honestly. I mean, I get privacy, but... Yeah. I have a bunch of cracks in my fence to let all the animals through and let all the stray cats. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Did I acknowledge you? Like, did I wave or do something It silly? was me and my mom driving by and we looked at oh, you. Oh, you were just driving? We were just talking about what could you be carrying. We were wondering what was going on. And then I think it was the next 
day, you were at Jack's house. And I was right. like, what a coincidence. That's awesome. It was meant to be. You know? <laughs> and it's cool that you saw me running too, not walking, because I hate that when people are like, <laughs> he's walking around the world. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> Right by the juice bar I work at that you were jogging by. I was gonna bring you a juice, but I forgot, man. Are you into fruit juices? Yeah, of course. I had a juicer too. I left that one in Spain. (laughs) Juices are awesome. Yeah. We just made, uh, what did I have? It's like red peppers, carrots, and. I thought to juice peppers, but they're really high in vitamin C. Yeah, they're a great flavor too. And uh, tangerines with cayenne pepper, and oh my gosh. Did you know there's a way to get super high from orange peel? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, there's something in there called D-limonene. And I discovered this in, in the most like surprising way because I was living in Spain in the orange orchards, like sleeping there, getting the, tr- getting the oranges off the ground so I yeah. felt like I'm not stealing them. And also the whole orchard's abandoned, so no one's spraying them or anything. You know, nice. There's no one there. So I'm just like juicing I've got a wind up juicer so I haven't got to power it yeah. so I'm winding it up and eventually my fingers were getting like stinging from peeling them all the time so I'm like I'm just not going to peel them yeah. I'll just put the oranges in with the peel on and it's like really bitter and lemons too Right. really bitter but it just seemed easier and then within about 30 to 45 minutes just some strange feeling came over me like the best way I can describe it it's a bit like mushrooms and MDMA or something like a, oh, a, but I, f- I thought like oh no I panicked for a bit I thought I was dying because my vision was going weird and you know I, I was like pooping like you know all this diarrhea <laughs> but actually I thought I feel good I'm not puking it back up yeah and after the sort of initial anxiety I was like this is how they find him dead on the ground like he juiced the orange peel like no oh, and then I man. and I kind of came to the conclusion like nature wouldn't wrap a nice you know succulent juicy fruit in a poisonous peel right so maybe this is beneficial and then I was like I had such an amazing day like music sounded better the world looked more awesome and I felt like all these thoughts were coming to me like uh, almost like the the plants were talking to me like the intelligence of the oranges or whatever oh yeah so that's where I went home and did the research and it's D-limonene is a um, citrus peel element which so it eradicates any like parasites or any bad stuff going on in the body. So you like elevates your yeah, elevates your being. I can't even barely describe it. That's and awesome. Very few people seem to really know about it. I wonder if it's like been hidden, like hidden wisdom, you know? Right. And all plants are teacher plants. I feel like some are just more powerful than others. Right. But every plant we eat, I feel like can yeah just bring our vibes up at a certain level. Well, the oranges will teach you to not be anxious to have a really fun time and it's a perfect like party drink I've been to festivals drinking this orange sludge and it's really thick of course yeah. of peel. and I would say somewhere between like 10 or 15 you know citrus items with the peel you'll definitely feel it oh, like, if you did only 5 you wouldn't notice Yeah. but at that volume I'm there at the festival drinking it and someone's like what is that paint because it looks like like thick right. paint and uh, yeah, have a great time. And you feel better and better. It's like you're detoxing and you're high. And then you can do it again the next day. And I would mix it like oranges, then watermelon, then oranges, then watermelon. That's awesome. That's I was just looking at this girl yesterday watching one of her videos, this chick Sky Life on YouTube. She does all these different just uh, natural, natural things to work on your body. But this one was a trippy breath work. Where you oh, could yeah. get psychedelic just by the way you breathe, mm-hmm. and that was really interesting, man. I feel like we're so powerful without anything that we can, yeah, we can make our bodies do anything we want, yeah. essentially. Yeah, is it called tropo something breathing? Troposcopic? I don't know the word. I, I think so. Something like that. But, yeah, it's that's... cool to be crossing the water. We're crossing over. You ever do any cliff jumping? Uh, not really. Not. I'm trying to think, have I ever done? It's a good question. No. <laughs> I'm like, I guess I haven't. Not even a small. I'm trying to think. Surely I've jumped off a small thing. Like, 
you know, the height of a few cars high or something. Yeah. But even that, I can't think of anywhere specific where I can claim that I have. That's so fun. Just anything jumping off into water. I suppose so we used to jump into the lake. I had like BMX and we would jump out the trees. Nice. But not off of a cliff. Yeah, I love tree jumping too because there's not many cliffs in Florida. But we go to the rivers a lot. And there's huge trees, like 50 feet high. There's an awesome place called Bob's River, and this guy homesteaded his property. He built 30 foot high tree houses on the riverbank, and you jump or you swing out on massive rope swings and get hucked. And it's the most amazing experience ever. Like, I think I saw the, is that the video on your, one of your Instagrams. You're swinging out. Yeah. Or you're jumping out. Oh man, that place is wild. The main thing with cliff diving, people don't realize, is that a lot of work goes into that beforehand to swim down and make sure there's nothing there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Some people have no clue to check the depth. Yeah, they don't know to check. Like that just seems so you know, there could foundational be, to me. Like there could be rocks, broken branches. Yeah, I yeah. mean anything, and you don't want to land on that going yeah. forty feet high, full speed. Even when we did the BMX thing into the lake, we left the ramp there, and some you know stupid kids they'll show up and get drunk or whatever, and they threw the ramp in the in the water. So yeah. when we got back, we didn't know it's in there. We're like, where's the ramp? And so, yeah, for the same reason, like, you've got to go check the water because we were thought to jump in the lake. We don't know. There's a ramp in there now that's wet with wood and nails. And yeah, getting drunk isn't the best idea. It's all right on occasion, but it definitely makes people do some, uh, yeah, not intelligent things. Let's smash the glass bottles. All you know, right. Great, yeah, at the lake where everyone's jumping in. Yeah, but all we can do is lead by example, man. Yeah. Try and show them. I was just having a conversation about how there's the whole meat eater versus vegan <laughs> kind of battle and it's not too friendly. And I was like, man, you know, all we can do is lead by example, yeah. you know, and show everyone how good we feel right. and how beneficial it is to the planet and by not using an animal as a middleman to get protein. Yeah. Yeah, be the, uh, be the example and the eye candy and the inspiration. Right. And because I feel like with me with these videos there's enough um talking about the problem like i could insert here some slaughterhouse videos or you know show people all the negative stuff but instead of focusing on the negative on the problem yeah. i tend to focus on the solution and the benefits right you know sure. it's like like we said about the tree climbing like 80 percent fun times yeah 20 percent getting kicked out all right but let's not focus on the 20 percent but, well, some people, I think it is their mission to focus on that. Like, I wouldn't want to discourage them from doing that. They're very good at awakening people with slaughterhouse videos or whatever. Yeah. But I don't think that's our thing. No, you it's know? not. Positive is the way to go. Looking for how to not get sick. Right? Yeah. I know. My mom got cancer, and that's when I started looking into nutrition because, dude, I was so not ready to lose my mom. Yeah. She's a beautiful person, and... So looking into nutrition, I started learning about all these amazing plants and alkaline diets and, you know, how growing your own food is like growing your own money. We shouldn't be working for food. We should be working to get money to maybe go adventure or travel, right. and not to just be eating. Yeah. And man, it's been such a great adventure. I'm so stoked that I've had all the lessons I have had to bring me to where I am today. I found it as alkaline eating too. Like I, I didn't even really use the V word. Right. And I don't think plant-based was even a word or a concept back then. I'm lazy too. When I heard like fruitarian, like what? You could just eat fruits? Like I was like, yeah, I hated right. cooking. Like cooking was annoying. Like, yeah. oh, I have to make my, my meal again. Yeah. I just stopped for lunch. Now I got to stop again and make dinner. So the idea that I could just like crack open a watermelon or a coconut or right. eat some bananas is like, that's way, way I, easy. I also spent a good amount of money on a Vitamix blender. Oh, and they're expensive. Because I love getting yeah. those greens in and I had some other blenders that just wouldn't pulverize the greens. Yeah. And you know, that's the best food I think because that's what gorillas eat. That's what a lot of the biggest animals on earth eat is just green foods. Yeah. Yeah, they're the building blocks, the amino acids. I feel like what you eat represents, like, it's the structure of what you eat will give you that structure in your body. So, like, tough, thick greens, you know, broccoli, kale, stuff like that is yeah. going to make you tough and thick and strong. 
I used to joke about like the people who eat chickens, they're kind of scared. They're like, wop wop, they're chicken. Yeah. Or like people who eat oh, only fish, they're a little bit fishy. Or like yeah. people who are on pigs, they're like, <laughs> they're like fatty, sort oh, of like piggy man. people. And then the people eating cows, they're like, steak, beef, like, I'm All strong. Right. I'm a bull, like, Ugh. it's like, whatever you eat, you kind of become, you are what you eat, it's never been more true. So how about that saying, you are what you eat, and you can only grow a plant in a good environment, you know, it has to have proper soil and water and nutrients yeah. to grow, it can't grow in a shitty environment, but animals, you can put them in the most disgusting, terrible environment where, I mean, some of those videos are like mama pig rolling on her piglets and yeah, just yeah. crushing them and... You can put them in the worst circumstances. So, would you rather be a sad animal or a happy plant? You know, right. like if you are what you eat, I definitely would rather be a happy like plant. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather be bananas or watermelon. Right? You know, he's nuts. <laughs> Exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. Yeah!